this is Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I'm going to edit this photo with you guys today with the Bohemian Rhapsody collection. This photo was taken in Rocky Mount National Park. As you can see, we had a big storm coming in, so it's very overcast, very kind of a bit gloomy, a bit moody in this photo. And this was taken with a Canon R6 with my 50 millimeter 1.8. So we'll start with the collection right where it says underexposed prep work. And how I choose which one I'm going to use, it just depends on the photo. So like if it has a bunch of light coming into the photo, then I'm going to do the radiant light. The gentle light is more of a clean edit. For this one, this is an overcast. So if I clicked overcast, clean green or magenta, it would look really good on this image. It's just, I, it'll add a little more warmth. I want to keep the moodiness of this image, so I'm just going to do gentle light clean because that's still going to, it's going to keep all the colors. It's just going to enhance everything and brighten it. So I'm going to hit play. I love that. So I'm going to right click and flatten that. And then I'm going to jump down here to the automatic brushwork. And again, you just pick the subject that makes the most sense for your image. So for me, I want to keep it as accurate as possible. If they had, like if they were very like warm to begin with, then I may play a magenta to even out their skin tone. Or if they were like, they had a blue cast on them, I may play green to kind of balance it. But for this one, I, I like the way they look. So I'm just going to play the pop the subject clean, which gives a nice clean brightening to the image. So hit play. Yeah, I love that. It's a nice warm glow on them. I'm just going to decrease my opacity down to about 70%. Right click and flatten. The next thing I'm going to do is enhance my sky. So I could do the enhance the sky clean or honestly I could do the cooler. Both of them would work and look really good on this image. For this one I'm going to do enhance the sky clean and hit play. And I love what this did. It definitely helped keep that moodier sky going on. The only thing is sometimes with the challenge is having mountains here is just making sure it feathers nicely into the mountains. So what I'm going to do is get a black brush. I'll make this like 50% opacity and I'm just going to brush it off a little bit by the mountains right here. And that way it just looks like the sky is fading into the mountain. And then I'll right click and flatten that. And then just to create more of like a moodier sky. I'm going to click enhance sky warmer and adding a little bit of warmth to the blue sky makes it look a little gray. So I'm going to hit play. I love that. And I'm going to do the same thing where I took the black brush at 50% and just erase it a little bit around the mountains. And then I'll lower my opacity down to about 68 and right there. So the top of the clouds look a little more gray now. And then I'll right click and flatten that. Then I'm going to jump down here to the one click color base. There's so many here that I love. My favorite are these two, but then again, it just depends on the image. Sometimes I like jumping down to here, but the subtle clean. I love this one so much, especially on a moody image because it makes your blues and magentas pop a little more. So I'm going to hit play. I love that. You can see it really made the sky, the mountains, and the water stand out even more. So after, before, after. I'm going to right click and flatten that. And then the next thing I'm going to play is where it says look up to the skies and see clarity. And so that is going to add a little more clarity, especially to the subject. And I'll hit play. And it just made your subject stand out a little more. You can see the details in them. And I'll right click and flatten that. Sometimes the clarity can also make your dark, like your shadows and blacks a little bit darker. So what I will do when I notice it's getting really dark is I will jump down here to where it says lift shadows, carry on to, click on that and hit play. And then I'm just going to paint it onto any shadows that are starting to get too dark. So the, the grass right here, my subject's face, the corners, it's almost like a little vignette is happening. So I'm just going to lift those shadows back up. Perfect. So this is before and this is after. And I'll right click and flatten that. And then I'm going to jump back up here to the expand the dynamic range. This one is what I use for dodging and burning. This also is huge for getting like 
amazing colors into your photos. It's my favorite action. So I'm just a poor boy. What this is going to do, it's going to burn the entire image. So make it very dark, but you're able to see all the richness in the colors. And then we're going to dodge and burn or basically dodge by erasing. And I'll show you what I mean. So we'll hit play, hit continue, hit continue. So now you can see that the image is super rich and dark and I love this so much. And what I want to do is I want to dodge the highlights um, by erasing. So everything's been burned. And so I'm going to get a black brush. Let's make it small. We got like 40%. And basically my rule of thumb is I erase it where the highlights are. And I also I use it to shape light. So wherever I want my viewers eyes to go. So first the highlights. So the little boy's face right here. We're going to erase it some. The back of his leg. I can see mama's leg. You can see the highlights on top of it. I might even get a smaller brush. Top of the leg here. A little more on the little guy. He doesn't have a lot of highlights on his face, but I want the connection, the way he's looking at his mom to be seen. I'm going to go down her hair a little bit here. Down her arm. A little more right here. So I like this. Now I want to shape the light. So I'm going to get a big brush. And it might be a little hard to tell in the photo because it is really dark to begin with. But the sun uh, was coming through the clouds in the top left corner over here. So I'm going to click once where the sun was. Click twice. Hold and drag it to my subject. Click again. Drag it down towards my subject again. So as you can see, what I'm doing is shaping my light. And then now that everything is kind of where I want it, you can see my brushwork down here in the bottom right corner where the layer is. I'm going to grab my opacity and drop it to zero. And then it keeps my brushwork here and I'm just going to pull my opacity up into where I like it. And I, I honestly, I like it pretty dark. It's about right there at 72. That's before and that's after. And then I'll right click and flatten that. And then I'm going to scroll on down here. And then right here under the enhancement brushes, I'm going to sharpen details and I'm going to hit play. And I'm just going to at 40% just brush it anywhere that I want a little more sharp. So his little curls, his eyes, even his outfit, her outfit, just a little bit in the water. I really, I want that water standing out. It was such a cool thing to catch. Perfect. So I'll right click and flatten that. And then under the background brushes, this is where you can kind of play with the grass. You can play with the sky in the mountains, especially with an evening like this. I love to put fog. So I'm going to click the for me and hit play. And then I'll get a big brush. I'll keep it at 40% opacity because I can always brush it a couple times if I want stronger. And I'm just going to go over the mountain, just the tops of the mountains. And I'll drop my brush a little more right there. Just where, where I normally would see the fog. About right there. So this is before and this is after. I love that. And I'll right click and flatten that. And then right underneath it, it's called spit in my eye. It's called sparkling water. So anytime I have water, I'm going to, I play this. It looks so good on it. So I'm going to hit play. I'll get a smaller brush and I'm going to play this at 100% and this is just going to really make that water stand out. I love it. There we go. So this is before and this is after. And then I'll right click and I'll flatten that. Then under the artistic color grading, this section right here, I love every single one of these. These make me so happy. This changes the tones a little bit. So I recommend just playing around, like playing them all here and there and just seeing which one are your favorite. Each one does different things. For this one, I'm going to click on the We Will Rock You and hit play. Oh, I love that. That looks so good. All right, I'm going to leave that one there. I am going to decrease the opacity a little bit. I love that. So about 60%, this is before, this is after. 
And I think what I'm also going to do, just because it, their skin's a little orangey for my taste, we'll get the opacity down. I think I'm going to brush it off their skin just a little bit. So I really like it though everywhere else. So that is before and that is after. And I'll right click and flatten that. And then right under that, we are the champions. This is a warm matte that I really love on my images, especially when I have sand or rocks. So I'm going to hit play. And then you can see how this really just brought in the moody effect to the photo. I am going to get a large brush. I'm going to drop this to about 50%, 40%. And I'm just going to erase it a little bit off of them. And I'm going to get even a bigger brush. And I'm just going to tap it around them once too. And this is just to kind of feather it out. And then I will lower the opacity to 50%. So if I turn it off and back on, you can, it's subtle, but it just creates this warm matte particularly in the blacks of the photo. And I like that off and that's on. And right click and flatten that. Next, I'm gonna come down to the finishing effects and there's different ways to make it nice and soft. I like my images pretty soft. So the first one is an evening at Live Aid. This one will just soften the whole image just slightly. So I'm gonna hit play. Continue. Perfect. So the whole image is nice and soft now. The only thing though is I will sometimes come over here and get a small brush, maybe like 70% and just erase it where the details are. That way you don't lose your details. I don't want to lose this cute curls and I don't want to lose the details on my water. Perfect. So then I'll right click and flatten that. Both of these are very similar in the sense they're both kind of like portraiture. The top one is for headshots and the bottom one is for pullbacks. I'm going to click on the pullback and hit play and continue. I like it. So this is before and this is after. I really like that. That looks good. I feel like it just blends everything together nicely. I'm just going to lower the opacity to about 60%. Right click and flatten. And then the next thing I'm going to do is come down here to the micro adjustments and I'm going to click on bright pop and that's just going to add a little more light to the photo, which I really like. I'm just going to paint it off the sky a little bit. And maybe even a little bit I feel like the sand is a little bright, so I'm just painting it off the bright parts of the sand. And this is before, and this is after. And then right underneath it is called really, it's uh, just like a nice pop of light. And so this is before, and this is after. And I love that. I'm just going to lower the opacity to about 70%. After. Click and flatten that. And then usually I'll look back through and see if there's anything else I want to play. A lot of times I will come up here and play Frightening Me, which is just a little more color. I like to end with that one. Hit play. And I just, I love the color it gives. This is so pretty. And I'm just going to drop it though to about 50% and then right click and flatten it. And I would call that good. I love this image. So this is, this is B4. And this is after. Thank you guys for having me. I hope you guys learned a lot with it. And again, if you want to get the Bohemian Rhapsody collection, just go to www.greaterthangodspeed.com. Thank you. Thank you.